Hey, Trisha here from Nairobi, Kenya. Have you ever tried doing something really, really crazy that you are so afraid of doing and it took all the nerves and courage within you to finally do it? Well, I have. Check this out. I decided to go bungee jumping with some friends and this is how it went down when I was finally asked to jump. Boy, what a scream that was. One of the most scariest things I've ever done. But you know, before I jumped, I had to confirm that the harness belt and the ropes that were tied around me would hold me securely as I jumped into the unknown. And even though I was still afraid, this is what gave me confidence to jump. There's a man in the Bible who dared himself like I did. Matthew chapter 14, verse 25 to 28 says, between three and six o'clock in the morning, Jesus came to the disciples walking on the water. When they saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and screamed with fear. Jesus spoke to them at once. Courage, he said. It is I, don't be afraid. Then Peter spoke up. Lord, if it's really you, order me to come out on the water to you. Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come out on the water to you. Wow, I love that statement. Peter knew that he could do the impossible, like walk on water if Jesus was right beside him. His confidence was not on his ability or his strength, but on Jesus. And because of that, he was able to walk on water towards Jesus. What is God asking you to do that you're so afraid to get out of the boat and do? Is he telling your friends, your family members, your schoolmates about Jesus Christ? Is it accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior over your life? Is it perhaps helping the poor or the needy around you with the little that you have? What seemingly impossible thing is God asking you to do? Today, we can step out in great faith and courage like Peter, knowing that God has our backs. We can be able to do the impossible and even when you fail, we know that Christ will hold us back up. Now go out there and live by faith and not by sight. Bye!